Welcome back to Norfolk Perspectives. Wow, I am so blessed to have the Brenda <laughs> Andrews, President and Publisher of the New Journaling Guide on the sofa. How are you doing? I feel great, thank you. So I am so glad that you uh, made time to come on here because this is kind of a big day for the paper, isn't it? Well, actually, the paper comes out on Thursday. Okay, this is Wednesday when we take. And today is Wednesday, and today is, is the down day. It's the, it's the day I get a chance to breathe, and I start pumping back up again tomorrow. Because you've, it's at the, there's it's nothing at the you can do about it. it. There's not a thing I can do about okay, it. So, publisher of a paper, come on. Yes. Man. What is there to, what is your typical week like? Well, you, you wouldn't believe my typical week, so I won't to go <laughs> into it. But I'm a hands-on publisher. Right. That means I make sure that everything is done the way I feel it should be done. Uh, I don't have a person who uh, does that final check over for me, so I do that. My day includes uh, proofing for the newspaper, uh, editing, and assigning stories, and of course reading, and uh, that's just to get the paper going. Uh, and then there are things like this, coming on and talking to people like you about the importance of the paper, mm -hmm. uh, marketing. Next week I'm going to be uh, at the University of Ohio as part of their black history program. Uh, they're doing a salute to the black press, so mm -hmm. I get to travel. Uh, as well as all, all right. those other good things that I do. Now, I don't want to be, you know, a party pooper here, but you also made a commitment this year. Yes. That you would have your editorial and I've every been week. Oh, and I've been doing Can it. Can I read it? Thank you. <laughs> it's in there this week. But I'll tell you, that has truly uh, been a challenge for me because I do it after I've done everything else. And so sometimes my energy level is not where it should be, and certainly my mental level is not where it should be. But I push through because I made that commitment, and at the end of the year I want to put it all together and I publish it as a book. Okay, cool. Now, because you, the journaling guide is not just another paper. No, I mean, you, no. there's a reason for having the journaling, a journaling guide. The journaling guide is an institution, mm -hmm. and that's the 115 message. 115 years? 115 years, Bob. Uh, we are an institution, just like the church and the school and the college. Those are institutions. An institution is different from just a regular business in that it provides guidance and leadership, and it's a resource where people can go and access uh, uh, whatever needs to make their community a better place. And that's, I take that very seriously. Well, and I, I know you and I have talked about the, the kind of, the, the urge and the, not beyond interest, I mean, the, the passion for people to be connected up. And yes. through the newspaper, you can be connected. You've got a new product this year with a calendar, oh, which is I'll really a way you. of telling your story over yes, the years. Yes, yes, I am so excited about that because it's been on my drawing board for a couple of years. And uh, we did get it together. It premiered at the beginning of February, uh, pictorial um, a calendar. We went into our archives and pulled out 12 pictures that we, and we have thousands of I was going to say, how'd you pick 12 out of thousands? Uh, I'll tell you, they just happen to pop up first, <laughs> <laughs> truthfully. We have thousands of copies of, of uh, archive stories and pictures, but we picked 12 that we thought represented uh, pretty much Hampton Roads. Uh, we have a picture of the first. I don't want to get distracted. By oh, I know. Cool. You will get distracted because the, the, the calendar really sells itself when people look at it. Uh, the marching bookers are in there, and uh, Norfolk State uh, Band, when it was not Norfolk State, not even Norfolk State College, but early on when it was under Virginia Union. Uh, there's a picture of uh, Joe Lewis at right. the, um, uh, there it is, you've got yeah. it right there, at the fishbowl. He's crowning, um, the, that was 1950, I believe, mm -hmm. crowning Miss Fishbowl. Uh, we've got a picture of, um, that's the one from Norfolk State there. And they're just as spry today. You know what? It's unbelievable. The the picture, the we're talking about pictures that are 50, 60, at least 60 years old. Um, and they are in better condition today than some of the pictures with the uh, quality that we have maybe 10 years ago. Oh. And, and, and again, for 115 years, the the one of the missions is to be able to tell the story of the yes. African American community yes. from an African American view perspective. Right? That is absolutely right. Okay, we only have a couple of minutes, so this okay. isn't fair to you, but okay. I'm going to bring it up. 
there's a lot of current issues mm -hmm. that are really can be resolved through conversation. I agree. Right? I agree. Uh, but yet, to have an appreciation and understanding where we came from, we're, we're celebrating in, in the month of February, uh, Black History Month mm -hmm. or African American History Month. I, we were heading over to Selma the other, to, to the movie, and I ran into a couple that I know with, the, with their daughter, and they were going to the movies. So, oh, are you going to go see Selma? And I said, and the daughter was 14, says, no, we're going to go see Wedding Ringer because mm -hmm. I don't want to hear about that stuff. Yeah. So, the, that connection with history. Yes. How, how can we get people reconnected to where, how I, far we've come? I think that uh, that's an excellent question, and I think we need to do that because only when people understand where they came from do they understand the struggles that got us here and how important uh, we and everyone else in this country have been to creating a, a democracy. Mm -hmm. Um, so one thing that some businesses are doing in some other places is actually buying tickets for students to go and see the film, uh, Selma, and then to have them sit down and talk about it. And the young people are responding extremely well to that. Well, and I think something like this in your home, anybody's home. Absolutely. It's also a good way to kind of get that conversation yes. going in your own living room. You're absolutely right because those pictures were uh, taken during a time of segregation in uh, mm -hmm. Hampton Roads particularly. But the people in the picture, uh, pictures are all uh, enjoying life because life is to be enjoyed. And so understanding that even though we lived in an era of uh, racial oppression, that the community still stuck together, mm -hmm. the community worked together, and the community built things together. And that's an important message that young people need. It's a very important message to end the segment on because we can do that in 2015. We too. can. Thank you, Brenda. For, Thank you. On a weekly basis, bringing in a, a, an important message week. into our home. It's like having a baby. Oh, <laughs> that's another segment. Come back for that one. Okay, when we come back, your library is a really good place to get that information and celebrate. Stay tuned.